Okay, St. John River, beautiful, beautiful evening. And tomorrow's a big meeting about fracking. I got somebody beside me that maybe could educate me on what's going on. <laughs> what do you, what, we'll call you uh, Dr. J. Dr. J, female at that. Uh, what do you know about fracking? What I know about fracking. Fracking, fracking is that it's for underground exploration mm -hmm. of petroleum product mm -hmm. and when they do this they uncontrollably fracture the uh, the rocks and substance underneath the surface of the ground mm -hmm. in an attempt to find out if there is in fact product down there that they want mm -hmm. however it can go wrong when the uh, if there is product down there and it becomes released into the water table and then there's no control over it, and it leaches out through the rock layers and then can potentially come into uh, a watershed such as this mm -hmm. and potentially kill everything in it. And they don't even know if it's there to begin with, so they can potentially kill an entire watershed to explore. So if they did some fracking mm -hmm. over that hill there, sure, it could affect the water here? It can, because everything is connected in here. All these rock layers are, are not all of one piece, but they're all interconnected. And water, as you see it here, does not end here at the river bank. It continues underneath. Yeah. So we should be concerned. I think we should be very concerned. Do they know that you can make a lot of money in a short, 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 short time, but the water will be ruined forever and ever and ever and ever. I don't think they understand that. They should talk to some people in the United States that have already had a, a catastrophic loss of their own water supplies. But that's the state. That's the American way. We're Canadians. Yeah. We're Canadians. We care about our... We're all on the same earth together and when one place is sick, we're all sick. And just because it's far away doesn't mean that it's going to work any differently up here. So we should be concerned. I think we should be concerned. Uh, there's some videos on YouTube if anybody wants to go Google that. Uh, maybe Google water on fire coming out of your taps because there are people in the United States who can actually set their water on fire from the uh, product that is coming up. I think I better interview it. I am I sorry. I asked uh, Craig Leonard about that uh, a couple of days ago. He wanted to do an interview and I said, I'll get you for later. He's for it. Yes. He, said there, he said, this is exaggerated that there's no, this is fear mongering. I'd say anybody who wants to uh, explore the exaggerations can research on their own, they can Google, and uh, there's plenty of material out there to illustrate what has actually happened to people like us who were told that it is just uh, exaggerated and harmless and controllable. Remember the old days we had to go with the Irving paper? Yes. Those days are gone. Yes. They're gone. So the Irvings must support this because this is money. And all, like you said, all we got to do is go, go to Google mm -hmm. and go to YouTube. Yeah. But the citizens usually are passive, New Brunswick. They're, they don't give a damn. They stay home. They're too busy worrying to survive. So they're not going to get involved in this. But they should. They should. They should be concerned because the water is for everybody. You know what? That's well said. We'll leave it at that. Thank, Thank you. you.